Well, we officially uh, took our last load of base rock this morning. We have tons of gravel on this project, but uh, this is our one inch rock that we uh, are using to finalize our paver base. And then we'll go to a three eighths chip for our bedding layer. So uh, on this video, we're gonna be working on doing uh, the coping. Uh, we got a jumping rock to select and get installed. And then we'll be all set up to do pavers and uh, really make this place start coming together. So uh, stay tuned, check it out. Putting our last step on. Now that we have our grade up, uh, we can finish this up. This step is actually gonna probably end up in the patio, which would be kind of cool. And we'll do some scribing around it to uh, make it have a natural transition into the patio deck. So we were setting up our coping. First thing we did here was we were gonna be three quarters overhanging on our encapsulation for the auto cover. So make sure we clear the auto cover with our coping. Uh, we're using the Belgard Marina coping 12 inches deep. And uh, so we made some marks to represent coming back 11 and a quarter. And then we squared up at the house so that when we get our pavers and everything there, uh, we were about a quarter, which is pretty good. So we're now, we've adjusted our line to kind of catch that. Uh, so we're kind of letting this uh, determine our line going back to the house and now we're gonna measure that side and get the a parallel line going on that side so we can keep everything straight and then we'll square up the end uh, with those two lines so now we're setting up our parallel line now we'll transfer this to the other end Now we have this side set up, we're going to square this end, square the lines off each other so we have a nice square cut for our corners and all that sort of thing looks good. One of the reasons we set up this line first is there's no skimmers or anything in the way so we can get a nice straight consistent line. So even if this side or if that side didn't have the skimmers, we would probably pull off the house to create our straight control line on that side and then we'd move over here to make parallel lines if this were flipped. So that's kind of why we do that first. It doesn't really depend on what's closest to the house. It's more, where can we get the most consistent line? Looks good here, yeah. These videos are to prove that I do nothing. And you guys do all the work. How you doing? I'm good. I'm Byron. <laughs> he's good and he's Byron. <laughs> These are the uh, rocks I picked out yesterday for our jumping rock. So. We're gonna put one on the bottom and then this one has a nice uh, little flare to it and creates an entrance to the rocks. So we'll see how that lays out when we get it up. We're gonna take some measurements of this so we know where to stop on our coping so we can cut the coping into this. This is our access road for getting those rocks back here. So uh, we got a bunch of rain yesterday and uh, didn't do any work, but I went and picked those uh, rocks up for our jumping rock. So I might have to get this training down a little bit and see if we can get it dried out so we can get those back here. But in the meantime, we'll just keep working on the coping and uh, we got some wind and sunshine today. So hopefully this will start drying out. So a lot of people ask us what we uh, like to use uh, to adhere our coping to our bond beam. We like using the Laticrete uh, Multimax. It does a really nice job adhering to both sides of the concrete. Usually used for tile, but it is uh, suited for concrete as well. And works really well. Um, we're able to do just a tile type uh, trowel, we use a half by half trowel, and then we just spread it on. So we'll show you how we how we do that and uh, how we get it all set up. We get our corner set up right on that red line where we set up our square. We cut these at a 45 so they meet nice. So we get a nice good cut that matches up with our line and then we'll start going each direction. We'll set up that corner, probably work these two to the middle and then each side will go down and we'll cut into the auto cover. So while the guys are getting the uh, coping 
uh, set up and getting ready to start applying it, I am going to go down and try to get a trench dug in where that water's standing on our road so we can get that drained out and dried up. So we're expecting rain in a few days. So we want to be able to get access uh, as quick as possible. Uh, the trick will be getting there without making too big of a mess. So we'll see how it goes. New morning and we are going to finish uh, the coping down there and try to get the jumping rock installed as well and then we can uh, move to the next step which would be pavers basically you can see we got these uh, corners cut in everything is set and mortared we like to meet in the middle so we have two similar cuts uh, here in the middle to kind of even everything out make everything look uniform and then again we got a nice corner cut here and this is going straight down cutting around the uh, skimmers so this morning we're going to finish up this side get cut around that skimmer into the auto cover and then we'll work on getting the jumping rock kind of have a placement of where we want it so we'll kind of stop the coping there so we can get the, the rock set here and then we'll cope through the coping here into that rock uh, and then scribe everything in so it looks really uh, natural so anyway this has turned out really good and uh, excited to uh, really see this thing come together So we have the uh, coping in as much as we can and we're gonna try to get our jumping rock installed here. So we're gonna be putting this, uh, this one down on the bottom and that'll be our top piece. So see how this goes. Yeah, I think it looks great. All right, so end of day, got our coping wrapped up, got our jumping rock installed. Travis is working on finalizing our grade for our pavers. Pavers are here, so in the next video, we will start laying pavers, and uh, this thing will really start coming together. So thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.